morning everybody Jason PJ Hollis Farms I am, had about half a tank of water I started filling up the other day I just put my chemical in there and I am finishing filling it up with water it is pretty good shot of rain today I'm gonna have to get over here where I got some service here in a minute and look at this radar and the hourly forecast and see how much time we got we might have enough time to get done but I'm going to look at it here in just a little bit. Don't want to waste this chemical. Pretty nice day today. Just going to be kind of cloudy, it looks like. All right, real quick, while this tank is, is uh, filling up, I have, since way before Cody's age, since I was seven or eight years old, all I have ever wore is boots forever. And, uh... I, uh, my back got to being so bad I swapped the tennis shoes or some kind of shoes like I got on now and uh, since we got operated on and everything's a little better uh, I decided to go to the co-op yesterday before I went to the uh, eye doctor and I had a, I had a couple of pairs of these boots years ago with this wedge type sole uh, I've always wore like a cowboy boot type boot with a heel and all that, square toed usually. Uh, but I slipped by there and I knew I thought they had this kind of boot and I wanted to try it. And they said they think they're fitting to discontinue this kind. I hate that. But I am fixing to slip these on and see the lady there say they're really made for people that stand on concrete all day. And if uh, something will hold up on concrete all day and not hurt you back, be pretty good. So only thing I don't like about them is they're not waterproof, but that's okay. I'm going to slip these on while this tank's filling up, finishing filling up. We're going to see how comfortable these are today. Kind of get back in some boots. All right, got them slipped on. These things feel pretty good. Like I said, I wore out two or three pairs of these things a long time ago. I hope this will feel pretty good. I got them just a little bit loose. What did I get? Let me see what size I got. I think I got a 10 and a half. Wide. I think I got the wides. I got a... No, I got... When I tried the uh, wides in the 10 and a half, uh, but they didn't work. I got a 10 and a half medium. Regular. They look pretty good, too. I believe they're going to be all right. I got a thin pair of socks on. I want them just a little loose. Winter time coming, I'll have a little thicker sock on a lot of time. By golly, them things look pretty good. I think we're going to be all right. Getting close. Getting close. I think I'm going to spray a little bit. Take a chance. The thing, thing about this spraying is you can cover so much ground quick. I'm, I'm running about five miles an hour, and I'm getting about 30 foot per pass, so... And you can cover some ground, and you can cover a lot of ground in an hour's time. We just got to make sure it don't get wet too early. It needs four, five, six hours sitting on there before the rain. So. But it rained some down here last night. It's muddy down here today. snake right here. I believe it's a rat snake. Just come out from under the hood when I crunk up. There it goes. Oh, rat snake. Scared the crap out of me. Woo! Son. <laughs> I crunk this thing up and he come out from under the hood right there. Thought I was dead. Woo! Get out from under here. I ain't sure where he went. Now, I know it's a rat snake. God, please. There he goes. Trying to get in the barn on that. Whew. Man, that'll wake you up.
spray rig off. Filled it. Uh, I did fill it up. I put some water in it. And I'm running it now to clean it out. We are done spraying the fields. All right. So here's what I'm doing now. Just unhooked the. 10 foot John Deere cutter from the 5101. I gotta do some welding on it before I use it again. So, got a, my first thing I'm gonna start cutting is a bunch of these roads, fire lanes and stuff that we don't use much. And uh, that 10 foot cutter's about too wide for them. So we got an old Rhino, seven foot I believe is what this cutter is. And I don't know if I've ever hooked anything to the three-point hitch on this tractor. So, I'm fixing to see if I got enough of everything to hook it up. And uh, we'll use it for a lot of these trails and fire lanes and stuff. All right, so I finally got it hooked up. I had to find me a shorter top link. Got it on there. I hadn't even, uh, I'm gonna raise it up. like the way these tractors like this big tractors made it's more used to something hydraulic like we had the little lever over here for a three-point hitch it's kind of aggravating yeah it'll pick it up all the way off the ground that's the main thing all right let's cut the let me turn around and cut the pto on see if anything's gonna sling off of it Place to test it. All right, so I'm back here behind the barn. It's kind of going slow. It's going to cut fine. It's not as smooth. Probably a little out of balance as the other one, but that's going to be fine for these roads and stuff. It's narrow enough that the tractor will go down and the cutter will go down. I'm going to crank her up a little bit and see. Well, let me get over here out of this mud. I know it's mud right there. y'all all right so i ain't used this thing ain't nobody used this cutter in a while i think it's ain't even measured i think it's seven foot so it's just a little bit wider than the tractor but most any trail we got that'll work and we'll be able to get in there and that in there so it'll get most of them but it's just a little wide for a lot of these fire lanes and stuff like that and i want to keep them up We'll be able to start on that even with it wet on a lot of them because it'll be just one pass. It won't make a mess, won't be muddy or nothing on that. We'll get, at least we'll get something going. We got all the spraying done. And uh, I'm gonna cut the fields last. I know Cutter there has been around a long time. I probably was using that thing when I was just about Cody's age or a little older maybe, not much older. Used to pull it behind that old Ford. Had it behind that 6210 or whatever that old Ford is and that 7000. It'll cut. I just ain't crazy. Once you get used to using these hydraulic cutters with the wheels and raise up and down, it's just so much smoother. But there's always a place for these right here too. Boy, I'm telling y'all, it don't take me long to get gassed. And for all y'all that's had surgery before, y'all probably know, but we, uh, at least we're getting to plug along and, and do a little bit. I'm thankful for that. Uh, not really sore, uh, a little bit right down the center of my neck, just a little bit, not bad. My shoulders and all, I just kind of feel weak, but I think that's just from, you know, kind of, kind of got to get back in the go. And I don't think I'll get better if I don't try to push it a little bit. But like, I just got hot, hot fooling with that bush hog. 
and that's sad to get that hot fooling with that bush hog but i did and i got it done worked through it took my time didn't even get mad that's a plus not getting mad but uh got it done and uh, i think i'll be able to feel better it's so hot i've been running the 50 65 you know i don't mind riding a the tractor them flies and horse flies been tearing me up but do this cutting it'll show be nice to get in that cab and ease along and we can get a little more done but we fixing to we fixing to get at them roads right here but um uh, before my boots is comfortable too i'm liking them i'm just a boot person mostly but before i forget today we've been still working on finding verses that's got uh evil in it today we're in ezra this is uh when they was rebuilding the temple and a lot of y'all are probably a lot smarter than me on the bible but this is giving me a good opportunity to make sure i study a little something every day so i share it with y'all the best i can uh i know i can read the verse i may be a little slow but i can get it right, today is in ezra 4 12. uh let it be known to the king that the jews who came up from you have come to us at Jerusalem. They are rebuilding the rebellious and evil city and are finishing the walls and repairing the foundations. Word for today in Ezra. And Jason done got hungry. Y'all hear the thunder? I've been back in Alabama for just a little bit. Oh. Chemical probably, it's raining over Mississippi now. The chemical probably had about, I don't know, five, probably about five, five and a half hours before it started getting wet. If it rained right on it, it could have had close to six. So I think we're all right on that, but in fact, we're gonna have a, it's kind of hitting me. It's not real solid right now, but that thunder's rolling. It's getting down somewhere. All right, y'all, so it looks like it is gone. It rain a while now. Oh, I'm not too far from having to go get Cody from school. And then uh, he's playing some fall baseball this fall. A few tournaments with another team. Uh, him and a couple of guys that he plays with are going to play with this other team. Two, some of them that don't play football. Cody doesn't, doesn't play football. So uh, he's supposed to have practice here in a little while. But I don't know what's going to happen because of this rain, but that's the plan here in a little while. So Anyway, I'm going to about call it a day on the video then unless something happens to come up after a while. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Out of here. <laughs>